Christians are often accused of being fake, of acting holier or more pious than they actually are. Sometimes you'll witness a friend or a family member have a conversion experience to Christianity, as though a switch gets flipped and as if overnight they start acting in ways that aren't synonymous with the person you know them to be. So the authenticity of the whole thing just gets drawn into question. I got the impression that people thought this of me when I became a Christian. And there's the familiar cliche that people always offer for why they don't go to church. All the people there are judgmental hypocrites, they'll say. The fact that they supposedly despise judgmental behavior in others while simultaneously judging people for being hypocrites aside, maybe they've got a point. The reality is most, if not all, Christians, myself included, are hypocrites. We're pretenders. We're acting as though we're better than we actually are. But we're not the only ones who do this. In fact, anyone who wants to get better at anything is guilty of this same thing. When I was about 12 years old, I started teaching myself to play guitar. So I would watch hours of concert videos of my favorite bands, and when the inspiration became too much for me to handle, I would run up to my room, strap on my guitar, and start to mimic the things that I saw them doing. I would close my eyes and imagine their persona washing over me as I became a guitarist. What actually happened was some pretty awful guitar playing, but that didn't matter to me. I was pretending to be them, and as I did so, I was actually slowly becoming more like them. Growing in any kind of discipline follows a similar pattern. When you're practicing the thing that you want to get better at, you're attempting to do it as well as you can. You're reaching for that level of excellence that you want to absorb and become, but in reality, you're not nearly as good as you're attempting to be. If we remain consistent in that practice, we will find ourselves actually becoming the thing we were pretending and attempting to be all along. This is what it's like to be a Christian. We're looking to the one who is the perfect human, Jesus. Someone who is wise, moral, faithful, courageous, humble, and kind. We're trying to be like him by acting like him. As we do so, we strain the limits of our own self-discipline and the cracks show pretty quick. We stumble along the way and fail to hit the mark. People looking in from the outside see this as being fake, and that's true. We're trying to be something that we're not, at least not yet, but the hope is as we continue to stretch ourselves in that direction, we will start to become more like Jesus and all the things that we admire in him. This reveals what I think is a really important principle for all of us to be aware of. The more you behave in certain ways and surround yourself with certain people and things, the more you will become like those people and things. The more I played my guitar, the more I became an actual guitarist. The repetition of that behavior transformed me from someone who wasn't a guitarist into someone who was. So what are the things that you are training yourself to be? Are they good things or are they bad things? Are you over drinking consistently while telling yourself that you'll never become an alcoholic? Are you allowing yourself to lose your temper over and over while telling yourself that you're actually a kind and patient person? If so, one day you will turn around and wonder how you became an addict or a notoriously abusive person as everyone who finds themselves in those shoes does. So give the Christians in your life a break. Stop judging them for trying to be something that they're not. It's actually a noble pursuit, and it's the only way to become better at anything. And if you've been turned off by Christianity because of what you've perceived as a lack of authenticity within it, then I hope this understanding will help you release some of your bad feelings towards it. Jesus is someone that most of us can admire, but for Christians, it's just not enough to admire him from afar. We want to be more like him and share in the life that he offers.